Look, Peter. Sky. What a lovely, lovely day. Aren't the clouds beautiful? You know what I sometimes think when I can't stand being cooped up for one more minute? I think myself out. I think myself on a walk in the park where I used to go with Pim. Where the jonquils and the crocus and the violets all go around the slopes. You know the best part about thinking yourself out? You can have it any way you like. You can have roses, violets, and chrysanthemums all blooming at the same time. It's funny. I used to take it all for granted. And now I've gotten crazy about everything that has to do with nature. Haven't you? I wish you had a religion, Peter. Oh, I don't mean you have to be orthodox or believe in heaven and hell and purgatory and things. I just mean some religion. Just believe in something. When I think of all that's out there, the flowers, the birds, and the trees, when I think of the nearest of you, Peter, and the people we know, Mr. Crawler, Meep, Dirk, the vegetable man, all risking their lives for us every day. When I think of these good things, I'm not afraid anymore. We're not the only people that have had to suffer. There have always been people that have had to. Sometimes one race, and sometimes another, and yet... I know it's terrible trying to have any faith when people are doing such horrible. You know what I sometimes think? I think the world is going through a phase, the way I was with Mother. It'll pass. Maybe not for hundreds of years, but one day I still believe, in spite of everything, that people are really good at heart. But Peter, if only you'd look at it as a part of a great pattern. There were only a minute in the life. Listen to us, going at each other like a couple of stupid grown-ups. Look at the sky now. Isn't that lovely? Table Settings by James Lapine Stephen Franklin keeps picking on me at the bus stop. I hate the bus. I don't want to ride the bus anymore. Please don't make me ride the bus. In the past two weeks, I've had a fake being sick four times just so I wouldn't have to ride the bus with him. I hate boys. They think they can do whatever they want just because they're boys. I never see my father. He only talks to me when he's drinking that stink pot pitcher full of smell. All the other girls in my class, well, they've had their periods for months and months. All the other girls in my class are starting to develop. Thank goodness for Jenny. She and I can talk. We're really close friends. I'm just so darn tired of school. I can't wait for summer. Then I can babysit and get some money. Like Daddy always says, free money is freedom. I've got this great big pimple pressing on my forehead. I hope it doesn't come out till the weekend. Or else that Nimrod Stephen Franklin will make fun of me all the way to school. If I'm going to go through the pain of having pimples, I might as well get my period. I just don't want to be different. 